Dumihi animas chatara tole. Give me souls, take away the rest. Father Jan Po STB. We are now in the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. At the message ng ating first reading, second reading, our gospel for today is God communicating something to us. He is trying to communicate who He is in our life. Ang ganda po na sinasabi sa ating first reading, wherein the Lord is saying, This God is our King. And this King is a just King. And this just King is our Savior. Our Savior is a meek and humble of heart. And the message that He is bringing to each and every one of us is peace. He is bringing peace, forgiveness, understanding in our life. The Lord is bringing peace to each and every one of us. This is the proclamation being told to us in our first reading that God became man to become our Savior, our King, who is humble and meek, who is here to bring peace sa ating buhay. This is a wonderful grace that God is giving to each and every one of us. Kapayapaan sa ating buhay. And we will only attain this peace if God dwells in us. Ito naman po yung sinasabi sa ating second reading. If you want to find peace in your life, let God reign in your life. And there you will find peace. Yan po yung mga message na ibinibigay sa atin sa ating unang pagbasa at pangalawang pagbasa. Pinapakilala ng Panginoon kung sino siya sa atin at kung anong biyaya ang kaya niyang ibigay sa atin. Siya ang Diyos na nagahari sa ating buhay upang tayo'y iligtas at bigyan ng kapayapaan sa ating buhay. All we have to do is let Him dwells, manahan siya sa ating buhay. Now, in our gospel, ang ganda po ng message, no? pinagpapatuloy niya yung sinasabi niya sa ating first reading at second reading. At ano po ito? Pinapakita po dito the message of God. In God's time, we will understand all these wonderful things that God is granting each and every one of us. The Lord Jesus says, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to understand all these things. But you have hidden this from the knowledge one. But reveal it to the humble. And the Lord said, I am here. Learn from me. Because I will reveal, as the Father said, whom the Son will choose to reveal all these graces that the Father is ready to give it each and every one of us. And the Lord is telling, if you want to receive this wonderful gift, learn from me. Imitate me, how I live my life. And we have to focus kay Lord. Kailangan i-focus natin ang ating mga mata, ang ating puso at isipan sa ating Panginoon. If we will not understand Him and know Him, how are we going to imitate Him? Kasi sinabi niya, learn from me so that you will gain the grace that God is granting you. At ano po yung summary na sinasabi niya? Humble of heart. Humility. The Lord is teaching us for you to see the wonders of this world, the graces that the Lord is granting you with all the love and care that the Lord is showering you. You will see it. God will reveal all these things if you have a humble heart. Ang Diyos nagpakumbaba. Naging tao. Bakit? To bring peace sa atin. Nagkasala tayo. Nagkahiwalay tayo. Ngunit because He is a just and merciful and humble God, He chose to bring forgiveness and bring communion and peace once again in us. And I think this is the message of our Lord in our celebration. Learn from me so that you will gain all the graces that God wish to grant you. And that is peace sa puso, sa isipan, sa iyong buhay. 
You have to allow God to dwell in your hearts as our second reading is telling us. And in our first reading, the Lord is ready to give all these graces to you. And in our gospel, you will receive it through Jesus Christ. Through Him, you will be able to see these wonderful things in our life. Learn from Jesus. Humble yourself. Buksan natin ang ating mga puso at isipan muli sa ating Panginoon. Ask for forgiveness. Humble ourselves and ask for guidance. Allow the Lord to dwell in our hearts and we will find peace. And if we do this, our Salmong Tuguna is very wonderful. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Allow God to reign in our hearts. Yun po ang kanyang healing upang ating makita ang grasyang ibinibigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Be humble, be meek, as our God who became man is so humble and so meek and so kind that we may be able to receive the love of God, ang kanyang kapatawaran, ang kanyang pag-ibig. So once again, my dear friends, God bless us all.